It's getting chilly. It's getting chilly. I feel my nose running. I'm wearing a turtleneck because I'm cold. Happy Sunday fun day, everyone. Welcome to our weekly live where we get to hang out with you guys, read your comments in the live chat, and Jeremy will start the live off with a song. You still get tuned in? Making adjustments? You think we're ready for this? I think you're ready for this. Well, we moved into a town. You remember this one, right? I do remember this one. This one's a good one. Okay. A lot ready? of people love this. You're going to sing with me this time, right? Hey. Well, we moved into a town. No one around. All to get away from the snow. I'm still waiting. Uh, you're, you're seriously not going to help me? I can lip sync if you want. That would be better. Let's okay. be vanilla. Right. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Well, we moved into a town. No one around. All to get away from the snow. We put in a two-inch line and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough. Yeah, now we're talking. Doing great. <laughs> well, Mary was in town hall. Couldn't do math at all. Just kept calling the law. Sent an email to Worm, hoping he'd confirm that no one would know all her flaws. <laughs> Line that John, running their con, trying to get any money they can. Everything around them dies, then she fake cries, they'll end up by a river in a van. Sounds all over town, but now they're taken down, and everybody knows who Don is. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You're living in a shed with no friends. <laughs> My favorite line, you're living in a shed with no permit. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, I lost it. I, that's my favorite line. I have to do it again. There's cats all over town. And then, now they're taken down. Everybody knows who Don is. Don't do the cat. Hold on a second, I can't. All right, all right, all right. All right, I, I got this. I got this. Okay. I got this. Over town. Now they're taking down. Thank Everybody you. knows who Don is. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You're living in a shed with no permit. I got it. I got it through that time. Yeah. Plus it's texting Don. Tell them it's on. Let's give the world a show. We always wanted fame and now they know our name. In the meetings always vote no. Saw that again this week. Well, they're all making threats, and the fans are taking bets. Gonna be the first in jail. Mary Russ or Don, Lynette John, we just know it won't be what the hell. They're all making threats, and the fans are taking bets. Gonna be the first in jail. Mary Russ or Don, Lynette and John, we just know it won't be what the hell. We just know it won't be what the hell. We just know it won't be what the hell. We put in the two-inch line and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my We call that the Ballad of Otter Creek. <laughs> There's actually a couple ballads. Out there, there are a couple ballads, and its fame continues to grow in courthouses around the world. But before we get to the court, we got to talk about a town hall meeting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, what? my goodness. Yes. What? What? <laughs> what? Another crazy meeting. Yes. Yes. So, when I, And when I say crazy... I'm mostly referring to two specific council members. Who in the world would always, you be referring to? That always vote no. Vote no and not really help the is town move down. forward. Telling him it's on. <laughs> Let's give the world a Thank show. You Thank you. We always wanted fame and now they know their names when it 
comes to vote, always vote no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. We saw that quite a bit, huh? Please Except the name. crazy thing is Russell actually voted yes for what he did in previously as he was mayor, mm -hmm. and yet he's 100% opposed to it now <laughs> if Therese does the same thing and brings one bid. Wow. Huh. The yes. hypocrisy is real. <laughs> Boy, the um, so real foolishness, the uh, complete ignorance, mm -hmm. incompetence, and the list could probably continue to well, go the, on and the on. The biggest jaw dro dropper was Russell picking on poor Belinda from the beginning, an elderly woman, and every meeting he just has to pick something with her. But yet he told Channel Twenty News. A Ain't no clerk. clerk. Ain't, Ain't no, no show. show. But he doesn't want to treat Belinda fairly as a clerk, and Oops. says she don't. Did he? Did he lay his hand on her? So if you go back and you look at the video footage, Russell actually did touch. Thanks, Cindy Lou. Russell did touch Belinda. So based on the video footage, there was physical contact, and in the state wow. of Florida. Physical contact, unwanted, mm -hmm. uninvited uh, physical contact is legally battery. It's considered battery. It's considered battery. Yeah. So you saw that happen with Mary, Mary, math is scary, with me. She touched me. I did not give her permission. In the state of Florida, that is battery, which Thanks, is why, why she was arrested. Now, we shared this week that, that she did not receive charges for that because the, the prosecutor actually called me and and went through it was like all right her age we watched the video yes she touched you she pushed you out absolutely her yeah. age where her health is right now do you mind if we don't pursue this and we said yeah that's not a problem so we understand the, the question would have been if she wasn't her age and she was 20 years younger it probably would have been different well what I told the prosecutor was this Thanks, is Gary. this is the minor Thing that she has to deal with right yes. now it's like this is this is so minor compared to what she's going to have to deal with so we we went yep yeah, we understand she had a stroke and she's 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 trying to get better and her health is an issue and so we actually said okay not a problem don't press charges and so we also again the the very words i was sitting right here at the table i, I think we even filmed it no, we didn't we film were, it we because because I told her I was going to film. Yes. And she said, if you film, we cannot have this conversation. Right. And so she would not give me permission to film. And in Florida, if the phone call originates in Florida, it does not matter if you're talking to somebody in Ohio. Right. It does not matter if you're talking to a clerk, Thanks, of course, Ellen. in Ohio. You may not record without permission, right. period. Because Florida is a two-party consent state. It's an all-party. Regardless, party. yes, regardless what. it The law where, where you call party. is what matters. And the yes. call came from Florida. So the call did not come from Ohio. Therefore, I could not film. Right. That's correct. I, I do remember that. Yeah. And, then, and then what we did is we said, yes, we understand. And I specifically stated, I was like, this is so minor compared to what she mm -hmm. has coming after her so 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 that is what happened is that from my understanding as i reviewed it there was physical contact oh absolutely there was physical contact i what did everybody else see did you guys see physical why, contact why would she physically push you out when well you i'm talking i'm her talking her. about russell and belinda oh. now i transitioned over to russell okay. and belinda that's right, that's right. nobody denies that there was battery with well, there was definitely there was definitely fear in belinda's face you could see it in the video and doug did not mess around he stood up and he gave russell a warning Mo i think most men would be so fed up watching this behavior at every meeting that, that he probably wouldn't have given him a warning most men would have not given him a warning and i think that goes to the quality of doug as well that that doug did give him a warning mm -hmm. and he is done and tired of the um <laughs> it's 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 complete and total the disrespect disrespect the rudeness disregard for and then, and for then, belinda correct. for madame mayor therese for fe all females yes and then russell saying punch me punch me egging it on and he's an elected council behaving this way so the big question is if russell ags on 
a resident. Okay. So we understand Russell is a voted in council member. So people have said, oh, well, Russell's no different than you. He's making a recording. He can remove it from the property just like everybody else. Wrong. Wrong. Everybody else is not an elected official. If an elected official is recording, that is town hall property. It may not be removed. It has been removed, even regardless of whether it's been given to Belinda over or not. He has it's illegally selling. removed it from town hall yeah. under, you have to understand, under counsel of another foolish twit who we just call Shark. Okay. So the ridiculousness of the council, th this is. Like George and I were in court two days this week, and we're going to get to that. The ridiculousness of how these fools, and I'm lumping them all together, continue to incriminate themselves and how everything blows up on them. And we saw explosion after explosion after explosion, which is going to have explosion after explosion after explosion ripple effect for Otter Creek this week. But Russell, the Sussel, the elected official egging on a resident, a local, in in during the meeting, and a lot of you have been reading the comments, and a lot of you are like, you know, th that should be an automatic suspension. So, is it legal for an elected official, number one, to what's the proper word of what he's doing to Belinda? To belittle Belinda? To uh, what do you think is the proper word? What do you guys think? What do you guys think the proper word is? Harassment? Do you think it's... You, you let us know. What is the proper word that Russell is doing to Belinda? Okay, so Danielle says intimidate. intimidate Michelle says bullying. Uh, berate. Jim the Geek says... Okay, Bill, Billy says bully as well. Uh, incite, I can, I can see that as well. Mm -hmm. Adminish, mm -hmm. antagonize, that's another, you know, I think all of these go in the aspect of degradation. Jennifer said degradation. Workplace harassment. Uh, yep, yeah, harassment. So all of these go in the aspect to, let's just go with harassment. Let's say harassment. So you've got Russ the Sus who continues to harass an elderly woman. Okay. Now, I don't care about her age. Mm. You know, there are other We've people out said there. Age doesn't matter. There are other people out there in the internet world that like to throw around harassment of the elderly. Okay. So if you're going to throw the terminology that. around, let's let's talk about it. Okay. So now Belinda's probably got more spunk and youthfulness in her than Russ and Don combined. But age wise, if we're going to go focus on age, why is Russ the sus harassing? or verbally abusing an elderly woman. Not only that, why is he doing the same to, again, I, I, I'm just going to use terminology that we're, we're accustomed with, a middle-aged woman, Madam Mayor Therese, mm -hmm. which she's younger than me, but um, we're still gonna go middle-aged. So why, why is he verbally abusing and harassing a middle-aged woman and an elderly woman? Mm -hmm. And, is it legal what he did? Is it okay? And can he still perform in his function as a council member when he literally verbatim said what, George? Punch me. To a resident Do during it. a town hall meeting. In front of witnesses. <clears throat> in front of witnesses. Thanks, Tricky Chi. Get well soon. I, every time we think, oh yeah, well, things are going to get better now. Every time we think there is nothing else they can do to incriminate themselves. Mm -hmm. It gets worse. These fools continue <laughs> to dig a deeper and deeper and deeper hole. I would say the very first meeting we attended, which was December of 2020, was just as bad. It was worse. It was just as bad. And we weren't filming it because we didn't know what to expect. I wish we could have filmed it. We were new in town and George and I afterwards just looked at each other and went. Right. We did, Again, we didn't know what to expect. And so we had never seen so much dysfunction in all of our out. lives. So this has been ongoing long before we even knew Otter Creek existed, the way that they used to 
um, and, conduct their meetings. And the town residents that invited us actually they apologized later they were like we are so sorry we wanted to show off the town mm -hmm. and this is what you you, you came and saw yeah. and so none of this is new the only difference is a camera's on now. the only thing that's different is the camera yeah that's it yeah that's it <clears throat> so the big question is is what russell did antagonizing and enticing a town resident which let's call it what it is again, because there are those out on the internet that like to use this word elderly, an elderly gentleman. Grandma Nay. So enticing an elderly gentleman to punch him. Uh, is it legal? Can he continue welcome. to serve? Yeah. Uh, and again, a lot of a lot of folks in the comments said that, you know, if this would have happened in my town, it would have been an automatic suspension. So and 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 if and if the tables were turned and if if russ was still the mayor he probably would do everything to get whoever suspended if someone else actually russ would would turn over no stone go on the biggest witch hunt and use all of the townspeople's money to try and get that person suspended mm -hmm. and nothing would go his way definitely ethics violation huge right? Oh my Definitely goodness, huge ethics violation. Huge. And going back to speaking of ethics, going back to Russell being the elected official recording, Belinda even said during the ethics training that you attended, anything that you record becomes town hall property. property and it cannot be removed from town hall. Right. Now, if you make a proper request for it and it's a copy is given to you, but that what he's doing Thanks, and Jody. has done is illegal. And he was recording again this past week. And did Belinda get that recording right away? Nope. Thanks, Redneck Treasure. So she got a record. She got potentially, we don't know. We haven't Thanks, talked Paula. to her. But we saw that Russell gave a USB drive, which this is a man who don't do Thanks, emails. Karen. I don't do emails, but mm -hmm. somehow now he knows how to get MP <laughs> MP files on a on a on a, thumb on a thumb drive. So number one, I he sure either know if he even did it correctly or if he got help from somebody. He either has has the knowledge on how to do emails, okay. which you know I I gotta say I wouldn't be shocked if he can't do it. Okay, um, or probably a blank thumbnail thumb drive. Well, all I know is he's in a world of hurt. I would not be shocked if it's just blank. All I know is he is in a world of hurt of legal liability. And, and if the town comes forward and truly gives testimony mm -hmm. to the what he's done over the past 20, 25, 30 years, mm -hmm. and yeah, he is in a world, oh, world absolutely. of hurt. Thanks, world Darlene. Of hurt. Darlene says, Russ. <coughs> Failed his ethics training. You think? He sure did. Yeah, I would he say that. Sure did. So, so an ongoing pattern that you've seen is both Russell and Don coming to the meetings unprepared, unprepared for every meeting. So then it makes you question and wonder: Can they read? Can they read? Can they open up attachments? And if they can't open up attachments, why aren't they? taking the responsibility to go over to town hall or even making a phone call and say, Hey, I got this attachment. Don't, I feel like I'm missing something or just to confirm versus waiting the day of the meeting. Yeah. But let, let's, let's simplify it even more. Okay. Let's just go even more or simple route. The, or the, the, the last option would be, are they just showing up for that hundred dollar check? Okay. But let's, let's simplify it. Uh, I don't, I didn't get the packet. Uh, my, my Thanks, email Jody. attachments didn't open. I didn't come in early. All right, so they have two two options. Number one, they have their email. They're getting the full packet emailed to them, which was proven by Belinda. Number two, they can come in early and get their packets as well. Don is less than a 30-second walk, okay? It would take him more time to actually get in his car, start his car, back up his car, Whoa, come and drive it. his car, park his car, get out of his car, than it would be for him to just walk to town hall. It really would. It would take more time for him to drive than it would to walk. So the man deliberately does not walk to town hall. He does not get his packet early. He does not tell anybody 
I can't get my attachments open. Which is funny that he can't get his attachments open and there's a struggle because his wife used to be the clerk. She used to be the town clerk. Rosemary Why was isn't he the town clerk. For help? <laughs> uh, Rosemary. <laughs> I don't uh, understand. I don't understand. I can't open this attachment. Is, is he embarrassed well, to ask her? That boy, is he we didn't have attachments back then. Or or does he just prefer to be difficult? So let's talk about the easiest solution in the world. If you live 30 seconds from town hall right. and you know you're going to town hall anyway for a meeting that night and you are retired, retired mm -hmm. and you don't do anything but smoke on your porch. Thanks, Kim then why not go to town hall 30 minutes early when it's unlocked already you know it's unlocked and go get your packet then and take 30 minutes before the meeting right. and read your paperwork you know what though this isn't his first rodeo with being on the council and so 25 plus years he's been doing this he should already know to go get his packet to be prepared but if you if you've watched previous town hall meetings he apparently, when Russell was the mayor and Mary was the town clerk, his packets were incomplete. And he would call Russell out on that and Russell would be like, oh, you you want a copy of that? <laughs> what you need a copy for? What do you need it Everything for? is fine. Now, all of a sudden, now, all of a sudden, he's <laughs> getting copies. They're right in front of him and there's still problems. Right. So is it the council person or is it the previous administration? it's hard to say it's hard to say with those two because there's a lot of hypocrisy going on and, and a lot of double standards going on and people want to know why the world is watching i mean I, I can't man. stress this enough people are watching because they don't want to miss the next foolish self-incriminating ignorant thing that's going to be done or said right. if it was normal people doing normal business in a Things normal already, town hall nobody in their right mind right. would ever watch this so like the bronson meeting that you went to they they live stream their meetings every month no one watches why because there is it's a normal it's normal meeting where everyone gets along they start off with prayer and there's no arguing and there's no they actually <laughs> all do jobs they care about people They're, yeah they care about each other it, it's night and day and and bronson's only 15 10 minutes, 10 minutes away. away from Otter 10 Lake. minutes away to the town hall 10 minutes away yeah and your the norm is as a matter of fact if we were to take a poll right now not that everybody in the chat would actually know this information or not but the the norm the standard is your town hall meetings or your city meetings or your you know village meetings village. are being streamed and recorded for you and all of the residents if we were to take a poll of if everybody who knew i guarantee you upwards of probably more than 75 percent is being streamed youtube facebook or both platforms typically both it doesn't matter the size of the municipality. Mm -hmm. It's it's really, it's the standard. It's the norm of how we live. And so when George and I found Otter Creek, we found it based off of a business plan for a location to get to other major cities to be two hours or less away from Tampa, from Orlando, from Tallahassee, from Jacksonville. It was the center and we wanted to be on the Gulf Coast. Right. We looked at properties in Cedar Key was probably that some was properties first choice that was our first choice to move to cedar key but yeah. unfortunately the cell service <coughs> we had no internet, service the internet service there was horrible therefore we couldn't do business so so and again that whole video is on the channel as you watch us look at and compare the different properties and our real estate agent was even featured in the video she was this cute little lady named jenny which is funny because our horrific neighbor across the street continues to say that the underwear bandit was our real estate agent and that she continued to say that i had an inappropriate relationship with her and that's why she crashed through my gates thanks frazier we never met the woman before which by the way she's got a court date coming as well i mean we've never officially met her but there was drug drug dealing yes we caught in front of we her caught gates, her doing drugs and she introduced herself that night and, and we've, then we've actually shared that on the channel as well i don't remember what video it is but the night we caught her buying drugs 
in front of our property. Mm -hmm. We have that in the, I think that video is the town wants to kick us out. I don't remember. Which is from this so past long. summer. It's been so long. And she got into that white Ford pickup truck. Same truck. Same exact truck. Yep. Same truck. So never in a million years did George and I ever think that we were moving into a place with complete and total dysfunctionality. Right. We fell in love with the property itself. Ignorance or incompetence. Right. That's not something that you dig into when you're buying property. You look at the property. You don't have... typically go to a town hall meeting when you're buying a piece of property. Right. We we wanted tons of acreage where we couldn't be told that we have to stay in the house uh, as we were told when COVID hit. And we wanted a place to be able to just be free on a ton of acreage and be in warm weather and be close to the Gulf. And we ended up in Otter Creek. But I always say God always has a bigger plan. And we landed there for a reason, for a reason. We're not sure what that reason is yet. We're still trying to figure that one out. I do. One of the prayers that I always have to God is, you know, what is your big plan? What is your plan? And why did we end up in Otter Creek? And I, I do get answers here and there but i i don't have like a definitive answer so if we were to back if we were to backtrack we were sold property illegally because they were undisclosed and known encroachments and they refused to do and they refused to allow us survey. to do a survey right. until we bought it okay right. so you can't just go oh i'm gonna spend it was almost 10 grand for us. It was right. over $9,000 for us to do the survey and go, oh, I'm going to spend almost $10,000 to do this survey. We just went, we want it. We'll do the survey later. Mm -hmm. And we were, we recorded the knowledge of the encroachments. And we have statutes of limitations gives us up to 10 years to file legal, uh, to file legally against those. And we can get all of our money back. Everything we paid for it, we can get back because it was sold illegally. So and the survey team did come out awesome crew we oh they were fun. great we had and so we do we them. have a lawyer on it the same lawyer that is is working on uh the town uh, hall no oh. the same that was a different lawyer same lawyer that is working on town hall our issues with town hall is the same lawyer that's that's going to pursue things legally with us being sold the property with known encroachments because i'm sick and tired of the neighbors that actually did it and so now they push me to a point of you know what coming back for all my money mm -hmm. but we're doing one at a time so we're we got to get through town hall then we'll get to the money back on the property but we were sold property with known encroachments our property was completely and totally trespassed all over and one of those individuals that claims he lives in otter creek that he does not live in otter creek and continues to say foolish things such as he knows his, our property better than we know our property because he grew up on it. Number one, he didn't grow up on it. I guarantee he doesn't know it. And if he shows up on it, he's gonna know that I know it. So you've got foolish people trespassing all over our property. You've got dumping, illegal dumping all over our property. Yeah. You've got drugs being dealt all over our property. And who's the one person as we get there? And by the way, who is the mayor then? It was Russell. And who did anything about the illegal actually, dumping? Actually, it was Russell. And then um, the second meeting, they elected Mott. I don't remember there that, was, but I a, definitely know was, it was Russell. There was a change of hands like within months. I don't remember that. All I know is was Russell. No, we weren't there when Mott. No, that did not happen. We were there. It was Russell the entire time. When Mott, it was in during the summer when Mott was in or during the spring, so April, April, May. Yeah. So we were not there. We were here in Ohio. So, so you had Russell who did absolutely nothing, nothing. We have drugs being dealt on our property. Russell did nothing. And you have the antenna company, the cell tower company coming to us and say, listen, we've gone to your mayor. We've gone to your town hall. We've gone to the sheriff. Nobody will do anything about these issues. They can't even get to the cell tower because so much garbage is dumped. You know the one person who stood up and did something? It was Thank Gail. You, it was Gail. Gail was not on the town hall at that time. Gail put her own time, her own money, her own sweat. Gail stepped up and helped fix the problem. Mm -hmm. It was Gail. And you sit there and you go, is Gail for the town and for the people? Absolutely. 100%. And so I've said this before. I can agree with some things with a person and disagree with some things in a per with a person and maturity says you're both adults you can still get along 
Do we agree on everything? Absolutely not. And sometimes we get along. We're not always going to get along. But what do we disagree on the most? Well, you, we just disagreed on when Mott became mayor. There you go. <laughs> there you go. See? So maturity is you don't sit there and go, well, I got to block them on Facebook now because they don't agree that with this one thing that I think and I say. Or because this person's not my friend, they shouldn't be my friend. Or they shouldn't be their friend. You don't sit there and tell other people, hey, you need to block this person. They're a horrible person. That person can have their own opinions. That person can function in the position that people voted them to do and it not be the same thing I think. And when you step away from town hall, you can still be neighbors and friends. Mm -hmm. It was Gail Lamp who actually helped fix the problem. It was not Russell Meeks who was the mayor at that point. Mm -hmm. It was not Laura Mott who was the mayor the following term. And it wasn't Russell Meeks as he became mayor after Laura stepped down. Mm -hmm. It was Gail Lamb who helped fix the problem. And so I can't say enough about what she did to actually help fix it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we've said before that Russell and John don't have to vote yes every time. But when they oppose the vote, I think it should be mandatory to explain why they're opposing. Flippin' Adventures, you are correct. The cell tower workers did tell us on camera they were being shot at mm -hmm. on our tower. That's scary. And there you have. They were stealing electric. They were they, they dug in, stole electric. They're lucky they're not dead. Like, that's a serious, serious voltage back there. Yeah. It'll kill you instantly. They're lucky they're not dead. And it was Gail who stepped up and helped fix the problem. So mm -hmm. then when we start to put water back to our property, then we get overcharged, lied to, cover up. And then I give years of opportunity to Thanks, fix it. Jack. Years, literally yeah, years of years opportunity. pretty generous and pretty patient. And three years was a little too long, very long. Very much so too long. <laughs> very and very, not, very but long. do we want to talk about how Otter Creek got in this position in place? Well, there you have it. After three years of being silent and trying to handle it. Well, it wasn't silent. It was it was one on one without a camera. And I you even saw me, camera. you even saw me record the first time. So I had an employee. So that employee, that employee particularly was a bodyguard. Okay. So there are times where, where George and I have security and bodyguards. And there, there, there is, there's some times where we've had individuals for months at a time. Sometimes it's event wise. Sometimes, for example, half mill time to grill. You didn't know it, but there were different, there were different, um, there were different bodyguards. They were not only there for us hired, but they were also hired for all the other YouTube personalities as well. You did not know them because they were undercover unless you saw their earpieces. There was an evacuation plan. There was an emergency plan. I'm, I hate to say this, but the only evacuation plan was for us and the other YouTubers. Everybody else had to stay, but there was a plan in place. And you don't know that because we don't share all of that. So particularly that day when I was there with with Mary and I confronted her the first time about stealing with me, that was a that was an actual security bodyguard that was filming. And that person was filming that interaction. And I told Mary that day, I said, nobody's ever going to see this because you corrected it. Just keep it right. Do it right. And then she went on to do wrong, 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 wrong and more wrong. Mm -hmm. And then I went, OK. It's coming out now, years and later. We've even shared emails with you of her admitting to her wrongdoings and doing things the wrong way. Telling attorney Warren, we got to wait until this all calms down and cools down. Then we got to fix it. Or her paying Cover the bills, up. even though they voted no on it. Illegal. <laughs> I mean, the the illegal activities of, of Thanks, hey, sub Dan. This, this town hall previous, it's just mind blowing. It really is. Administration. Oh my goodness, yeah. it's mind blowing. It really is. It is mind blowing. <laughs> For those who are just tuning in, we are going to give you an update on court. We were in court two times this week. It was only supposed to be once, One but day. we'll yep. share with you why it stretched to two days and what's going on. But we are um, we're knee deep in uh, all of the, the town hall, all the muck and mire of oh. town hall meeting. So with so with Laura Mott quitting and resigning, and that that's where the whole chaos comes with the one year seat. It it's screwed up like the the rotation, 
And so because terms are for two years. Correct. And she didn't fulfill her full term. And so with Don making such a big fuss about the one year term and being so worried, I, if Russell is that good, why is he so worried and concerned? Like, wouldn't the locals just vote for him again? I just don't I agree with why you. they make a big deal out of it. Why does Don care? Why does Russell care? If they know it's more so if, Don that cares. If they know that they are the ones that represent the town, and that they're gonna then you're gonna get voted it. back in. So who cares who gets the one year term? Mm -hmm. If if you're so confident that you're the best thing for this town, mm -hmm. then who cares who has the one year term? You're you already know you're gonna get back in. You're the best thing since sliced bread. So Russ the sus is the best things since sliced bread. Who cares if he has a one year or a two year? He thinks he's got it in the bag to get back in. So who cares? Yeah. So why does it matter? Why, why make such a big deal out of it? More so Don. Don's more vocal about it. About Don's vocal about it because Russ is given the little shove is, now. Is Don worried that Russell's not gonna get as many votes See, to I, get back in? I don't even understand how Don could be worried. Because Don spent the previous year fighting Russell on everything. everything. So you guys, if you're new to the channel and you see Don just fighting Madam Mayor on everything, he did the exact, exact same, same thing, thing with Russell. Exact, the exact same, thing. same thing. So there's nothing new there. This is this is an ongoing pattern of behavior. So so I don't think that Madam Mayor should take it personal from Don because that's just him. That's that's the way he is regardless whether she's a female or new now, that's just how he is here's the funny thing if you were to tell don okay if if, if you know how to do all this then you become mayor <laughs> what do you think don's gonna I say don't think no, way. Way. no way I don't think no way no i'm him. not saying if this was not nobody would nominate him i know that you know that i know that but if you were to say okay don if you got this all put together you know how it all is supposed to be well, you know exactly what's him. Go ahead, Don. Run it. Become mayor. Thanks, I guarantee you, he will run and hide. The man cannot do it. Can't even get there 30 minutes early to go through his packet, knowing that he didn't open his attachments, but yet he wants to sit there and attack people because operator error, he can't open attachments on an email. Yeah, it's, it's definitely user error. I do remember attending a meeting, again, that we did not record, and Don stood up. In the mid, he was he was he wasn't on the council at the time. He was in the middle of running for the election. He stood up and said that he was resigning his seat for to to run for. <laughs> so Don, okay, so that is the very first meeting we went into is that she's talking about. And we just got in, and and Don was no longer gonna. No, that wasn't the first meeting. But it's when we. It wasn't it was the first the meeting, very first but the meeting people meeting. wanted Don to be the mayor and Don was going to be the mayor. He got the votes and people were going to nominate him as mayor on the council and not Russell. And Don came in and said, I'm resigning because all you did is voted me in because you don't want Russell. And yet the people didn't want Russell. And so Don stepped down and then by default, guess who got it? Russell. And that's while Russell was there before he also made mention of how chaotic the the meeting was and who's the person who brings in all the chaos who's the person that brings in all the chaos? and then you have people who go why in the world do people want to laugh ridicule make fun of i don't think they're laughing I, well i'm gonna back up they are laughing george and i have to laugh at this stuff well, it's mostly it's because unbelievable of two council people it's unbelievable. It is so disturbing. If you didn't laugh at it, you'd go insane. And so we sit there and we laugh. Oh, Don just voted second motion. Now he voted no. Now he's okay. opposing it. Don just said this, and but he said this. We have it on. We have it on film. One month, you know, one one video ago. Thank Don you. said he would come in and get his packets last video. Now he's saying he wants them on an email. You know, if you're not laughing. You go insane right. trying to follow all so this. So Don requesting his packet in email now when he said, How come we're not getting it on email? You just your eyebrows raise when he says things like that because it contradicts what he said prior meetings. But if these were normal, rational, mature adults, mm -hmm. 
with a level of wisdom and competency nobody in their right mind would ever 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 watch any of it yeah yeah so with elections coming up this april both russell and and don russell and don seats they opposed hiring the same process they did last year with the votes which is the only (laughs) process only this is where i think there's only one supervisor of the board of elections and they voted no on her when they used her last year and it's the same process it is the only process they can implement and utilize it is the only one you can't you get understand. three bids on a board of elections supervisor you can't get three you, people you understand this is just a rubber stamp formality it must be voted on in the minutes for the board of elections to move forward okay it's just a formality it has to happen it's the only way to happen and it has to be in the minutes legally it's a legal thing that has to happen and russ and don both and by the way there are those who go man you know there's other people that don't explain anything they don't have any knowledge to explain anything there's nothing upstairs they can't explain it they don't understand it that's why we try and share with you hey this is what the backstory is Mm -hmm. the other people don't know what the backstory is they don't live in otter creek and they don't understand what's happening in the meetings in the first place all they're doing is jumping on coattails and trying to trying to make some fame for themselves illegally using our name okay so let's jump back into into the aspect of there is only one way legally it has to be in the minutes and then the minutes are turned into the board of elections Mm -hmm. board of elections can then move forward there's only one way that's it there is no other way and this is where if i would have been madam mayor i would have been like oh my goodness i'm gonna vote against this as yo uh, Vice Mayor Zim, vote against this as well. That means there's no election. No one can vote. That means nobody gets voted in this year, this term. We self implode. It's unincorporated. The county takes over. We're done. Like that could have been the the moment where all of Otter Creek board meetings, town hall meetings were done forever. So it makes you wonder are they intentionally opposing? to vote yes because they want to unincorporate and this is the only way to force it to happen i don't know i don't know but we do know you do have to go around and the town has to vote so i just up to two people i i also one person i have been told that don was actually encouraging okay now i want you to understand this don was encouraging madam mayor therese to run specifically because he wanted Russell out, okay? So Don encouraged all these issues with Russell. Don encouraged Madam Mayor Therese to actually run. He wanted Russell out, and now he latches onto Russell so much so that he jumps on the other side of the table. Were there signs? Yes. There were definitely signs. If you go back and you watch the videos, Russell was giving signs to Don. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But why is Madam Mayor an enemy of Don. All Madam Mayor is doing is all right. Mm-hmm. Madam Mayor is actually correcting years and years of of disgruntled and disruptive and dysfunctional leadership, which mm-hmm. isn't leadership in the first place. And so why all of a sudden does Don want to latch back onto Russell and be the enemy of Madam Mayor Therese makes no sense to me when he was the one that was actually encouraging her to run Mm -hmm. because he wanted Russell out. Now he wants to play the other angle and he wants to somehow keep Russell in. And sabotage everything. How do you encourage someone just to sabotage them? It just, it makes no sense to me. So, so a lot of people are questioning if you watch the, the old town hall meetings that we've uploaded, you saw mr fuller sitting at the table yes watching the dysfunction and never once not never a word. once suggested robert's not a rules word. not a word i didn't even i had no idea the man spoke I, because he never even said one word i didn't know he had a voice either i never even heard him sneeze i never heard him clear his throat i never heard him cough he was like a fly on the wall just sitting there at the table there were times where i saw him down like this uh, there were times where his hand was on his head like and this just i just thought his head like he must have a headache well i was doing that to two, have to i was doing that two meetings. days this week 
while we were in court. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, and so, so it makes, it makes me wonder, well, maybe he didn't know all of these things and then he educated himself afterwards. And that's why he has this knowledge of how the meeting should be running because he didn't say anything when, when, when the, when Russell was the mayor. No, I don't agree. No. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, we're going to have to agree to disagree on that. <laughs> I maybe, think he knew I think the maybe entire he time. Educated himself afterwards. No, I think he knew the entire time. And chose he not just to say anything? said nothing because he didn't care. It was Russell. Now he cares, and there's some vested interest in a piece of property. See, this is you have to. You'll it never get. You're never gonna get the backstory on any other channel except for what the hails, mm -hmm. and and you understand there's a backstory. You've got Vice Mayor Zim who wants to develop his property and wants to turn it into a business. And that's great. That's exactly what Otter Creek needs. Otter Creek needs business, but doesn't have business, doesn't have income, doesn't have income. It is not an incorporated town. It can't survive, period. That's that's it. Okay. But then you've got you've got the strong family has this weird, weird triangle. Anybody in their right mind would just parcel sell that it. off Get and of it. sell it. It's on the other side of a road. Triangle, weird triangle. You're never gonna do anything with. Any normal, rational person would sell that triangle to the person that's that it's all it's wrapped around. Right. It's cut off by the road. It's on the other person's side of the road. Their property is surrounded. Rational people go, yeah, go ahead and take that triangle. But now this is a boundary turf war. And boundary wars. So there was no boundary war with Russell as mayor because Russell killed the permit illegally like he killed others permits mm -hmm. illegally he had no authority whatsoever to do it and the only way to care for that would have been to spend fifty thousand dollars in court suing him in the town so those individuals said no nah, you know what i'm just gonna wait until he's gone and they have waited and now he's gone so now fuller is speaking up mm -hmm. because there's a turf war with the vice mayor over a ridiculous piece of property Thanks, Jody. and we'll Russell isn't the mayor killing the permit anymore. Mm -hmm. That's why he knew the entire time. He just never said a single word. And then another question in the comments that a lot of people were asking about when he was hired, did he answer an ad in the paper? Well, let's let's get to the answering the ad in the paper, but here's another piece of information. Okay. George, how much how much is a going acre in Otter Creek? Thanks, Alex. Now I don't know. It's more now. Rate. When we bought but it was when like we were looking, we asked three different realtors what is the average going rate per acreage in Otter Creek in this area? And the answer was anywhere between two and three thousand dollars at the time when we were looking. Okay. That triangle is nowhere near an acre. Nowhere awesome, near. Zim offered the Strong family 30,000. Not 3,000. 30,000 for that one triangle that they would never touch, never use. It's across the a road cuts through. They can't even do anything with it. 30,000 dollars he offered them and they turned it down do you think russ had anything to do with absolutely 100 percent. it all comes down to these personal vendettas so when i hear speeches that say well the people of otter creek they always loved each they fought and they argued but they always loved each other i've not seen that i've i have seen i have seen complete and total chaos complete and total turf wars caused by rust the sus oh yeah there going back some type years and years yeah years and years i've not seen i have not yet met a single Thanks person on otter creek that would say yeah i love russ oh i forgave russ we have i have not met anyone. a single person his own family his own have, kin. have this is this is no joke his own family members have met me outside of otter creek bronson chieflin and have said oh my goodness Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Russell Meeks Sr. And again, we've shared this before. The very first thing you hear about him, drunk. Mm -hmm. And he runs around on his wife. Yeah. That's what you hear about him. 
That's the same story, same reputation, and nobody wants to do business with Otter Creek because of Russell. You, you know, the Strongs can't even build on that triangle. They can't do anything with it. Thirty. Why hold on to it? The thousand. question is, why hold on to that little piece of triangle? Personal war and vendetta. What does what does Russell? What why does Russell hold this? influence on the strong family over a triangle piece of property when they have more property in the area hundreds of acres yeah yeah it just doesn't so, make any sense maybe maybe we should ask so did robert fuller i'll ask you now did now mr fuller robert. okay albert i called him robert just for fun albert <laughs> did mr fuller answer an ad for his position what do you think george I'm going to say no. I'm going to say he was hired. He was cherry picked just like they cherry picked Angela when they hired her as a town clerk. And Illegally. They didn't interview they did any not, other applicants. They did not run the ad. And then Madam Mayor Therese and Lynette, unfortunately, put they in. Submitted their they resumes, both submitted their resumes for the position. Which is part of the and application then process. Mary Mary is sending emails to Attorney Warm. We're in big trouble. We didn't what run do this. And we told Angela she can have it. We illegally gave it to her. What do I do? Which is all in the 6,000 emails. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, no, I there was doubt. no ad, none whatsoever. There was highly no doubt ad that ran. they looked at multiple resumes. They just handpicked Mr. Fuller and brought him on. But now he wants he wants an ad ran. Who in the world? Who in? It just makes no sense. Maybe he's just upset because they eliminated his position. Which, but he said he was happy because he could never make it to a meeting. But he's been to every single meeting. He did say it was inconvenient for him. He did say he makes only fifty dollars an hour, which is far less than what he typically makes, and. He made it very clear that the position was only temporary. Well, at temporary. least we're getting him for a deal now. He comes to every single meeting for free. And shares his knowledge of wealth. So <laughs> we're getting it all for free now, baby. Wealth of knowledge. So so yeah, I, I don't I don't understand it either. Maybe he's drinking the water. I sure hope not. He doesn't live in Otter Creek. He lives in Williston. He has so clean water. Whether whether it's he's upset because they eliminated his position and this is his way of getting back. I, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to determine that. Well, there's no doubt whatsoever that he's working side and side, coincide with Russ the Sus. I mean, I guess I could ask him off camera. And the real question is, is how long will he be able to do that with Russ the Sus before Russ the Sus is in jail? So we have shared, Thanks, Sean. we have shared that uh, Tallahassee, which is the capital of Florida, Florida and government headquarters has contacted us personally and will be coming to Otter Creek personally to sit down and go through all of the information all of the corruption all of our videos and um it's it's going to be it's it i don't know how long they're gonna stay i'm literally gonna be like how long you got here's 250 videos yeah. of all the meetings let's talk here's video of russ taking everything out here's the emails where they lied they covered up they stole Here's what Mary said about this. Here's what they did about this. I mean, it's going to take days, days. You guys have been following this for half a year, year, maybe. This is going to take days, if not a week, to even sit down. And we don't know who else they're meeting with. So who knows how long Tallahassee is actually going to be there un with the under investigation but with the investigation and where are they going to have investigation headquarters like is town hall going to be where the interview is conducted or are we going to have them out to the schoolhouse we don't have all that information yet we just said hey we're gonna we'll let you know as soon as we're there and then they're going to they're going to drive down which is a two-hour drive thanks elvis but we also want to have all of our information ready here's every video thanks, half darlene. like it's crazy <laughs> it's it's insanity at this point uh, a lot of people are thinking that mr fuller is doing sus things with russ and well, that's why i think a lot of people are also thinking that things are going to settle down and i think the exact opposite i think you haven't seen anything yet 
with We're with the state the coming in with the investigation i think i think russell is going to do some of the most off the wall try and save myself and mary's going to do some of the off the wall try and save myself don's even probably scared to death laura mott should be scared to death and, and here's the other question people ask okay so the state is coming in the investigation is coming to otter creek yes the investigation is coming to otter creek state's coming in they're going to investigate and who's all going to be held responsible so the big question is that i keep seeing is can all of the council members be held responsible on the previous administration and the answer as difficult as it may be for others to hear is yes they all could be held responsible for what happened now they can also give testimony and say well i didn't know what russell suss was doing your job was to know what he was doing and they could give testimony and say well we didn't know what mary was doing their job was to know what mary was doing and they all and could be held responsible of them having secret meetings without all the council people locking don out so we know don can't be held responsible for trying to be for getting locked out but mary and russell will be held responsible for locking a council member out in a secret illegal meeting but if the other council members found out about it and did nothing about it they're going to be held responsible so there's a good chance that welcome bleak uh, and some of these names you know some of them you don't there's a good chance don mccann russ the sus mary mary jail is scary stuart stewart laura mott captain dan and i hate to say it but the reality is there's potential that gail could be held responsible for everything that happened as well it's not up to us it's up to the investigators we just know the investigators are coming to meet with us as soon as we're there yeah we would marilyn raby say says i do believe i said two years ago i would continue to mess with you <laughs> my reach is wide long and wide like my driveway oh my goodness you think marilyn has something to do with this if she does she's a genius <laughs> <laughs> Mar marilyn raby sucks drive gravy is like checkmate <laughs> <laughs> my goodness okay court oh which court do we want to talk oh about my goodness talk about the anxiety level this week okay first of all court with um and another question i just saw another question come in what dirt does russell have on the strong family for the strong family to do this that's that, a good question i mean question. that makes sense that is that a good would question make sense. all right court this week did I delete them? Uh, we've got we've got the underwear bandit. Let me see if I can find it here. We got the underwear bandit that has three different trial dates coming up. These are all jury trials. She is she is getting a jury, jury trial. trial, which we do Let's not need to be present it. for. Thus far, they've told us we don't have to be there if we don't want to. Mm -hmm. And I've said, well, I don't necessarily want to waste time being at a jury trial that when i can right. be making money working and if you look at her rap sheet our gate's not the first and only gate she's ever ran smashed into all right so her court dates are set as october 16th 9 a.m trial status october 23rd 8 30 pre-trial and october 23rd jury selection so that is underwear bandit all right everything else going on with otter creek town hall uh there will be updates in the future and specifically when we get down to otter creek we're not going to touch on that now now we've been very open that um we have had court this week we had two days in court which we did not anticipate right. or we would have been on the road already and in otter creek but we had to change our uh plan specifically because of court this week and everybody wants to know well you know what happened what happened what happened so here's what we're going to share with you uh we're going to share very minimal with you and the reason is simply this the judge particularly asked me as a content creator she said can i please not see this as content and and i legally can say whatever i want to say legally i can do whatever i want to do but I respectfully had said, 
yes, you will not see this as content. Yes. And so what I'm going to do is give an overview of what happened. Uh, basically on Tuesday, we had court, which the those two individuals, they attempted to dodge their actual serving. What they did not know is that number one, the judge overnighted their service, but then I hired additionally a uh, professional server and so that they so that they could not dodge because we already knew they were going to attempt to. So they did attempt to, but they got served regardless. They sent in two thick packets to the court. They overnighted it, which we now have a copy of. And remember when I said everything these individuals do blows up in their faces, anybody who gave them anything, we now have a copy of which means we can legally pursue those individuals that gave them information. So I will share with you the very first thing that happened. Uh, Lynette, her trial was first, and she literally gave out the Zoom link to her supporters and got yelled at from the very beginning from people trying to Zoom so in on was the not trial. Okay with that. Then she had the child in the camper and the judge um the judge threatened contempt of court on her multiple multiple times for an hour and 45 minutes i left with the biggest headache ever uh our trial was at three o'clock the court the court shuts down at four we got out of there at 4 45. it was literally an hour and 45 minutes of the judge yelling at her and literally at one point going, she's going, I am disabled. I have a life threatening. And the judge goes, I don't care. Because of that, it then had to go on to in a continuance to Friday. And we had another trial with John Crook on Friday. And that one went on for an hour and 30 minutes because John Crook went, I object to everything and the judge would go okay what do you object to and he goes everything so, in a nutshell um we spent two days in court and and i think it the the easiest thing to share is it did not at all at all go good for them or well for them or in their favor. And so um, we will, we should have, we should have paperwork. Now the, the ex partes are still in effect and any, any posting that they say about us, refer to us as the YouTubers, the neighbors, anything. Now you go, Jeremy, well, what about you? You're saying, you're saying their names right now. I'm not under any type of order. They are. This CPO has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with them. I legally can talk about all of this. I can get into complete and full detail. Out of respect for the request of the judge, I'm not getting into full details. So the ex parte orders are still in full effect. The ex parte orders are good for one year. Okay. So that CPO ex parte is good for one year unless the judge decides to actually change it. The five year that we're going after, we have to wait for her final written decision. So usually in this type of instance, you go and then and then you get the you actually get served the decision later because the judge works through all the information and then types it all up and says, based on this, 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 this. And because of all of that information and because they continue to break the CPO daily. Thanks, Del daily they continue to break the cpo i can send you i can show you screenshot after screenshot and by the way in our community post today linette calling angela gleason a retard linette Arwood. is calling one of her greatest supporters angela a retard and Animal. i mean it just it goes on and on and on so she has another group the heart of otter creek she continues to post daily calling the fbi we have it all so the reality is this, they have broken the ex parte CPOs already daily. We have already given all that information to the judge at this last trial, and our lawyer is continuing to feed the information to the judge as well. And everything from John Crook yelling at our employee, Deanna, saying, get the f out of here mm -hmm. as she's driving by. We have full video of that. 
to all of the posts. This is all under the ex our ex parte civil protection right. order. And she has to drive by to get to the ranch from the schoolhouse. So it goes uh, the, the way that they have broken this, which again, my lawyer has supplied all the screenshots, all the communication, all the video mm -hmm. after the fact that it's been it's been actually served and daily it's been broken, even up to today, it has been broken. Mm -hmm. So you can make your own conclusions of what is going to happen with these two. But uh, there's no doubt in our minds whatsoever, they both will end up behind bars. There's no way they'll be able to keep the orders. And uh, and frankly, I think that's what's safest for them mm -hmm. because they are for very toxic. To they are very toxic. They are very abusive. I think it's safest for the animals. I think it's safest for the child. And I think it's safest thing for the town, period. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, it did not go well for them at all the cpos are still in effect and the the ex parte cpos are good for one Thanks, year the eagle Deb. we are seeking out a total of five years now some of the questions are jeremy if they're at the town hall meeting before you and you get there do you have to leave the answer is no mm -hmm. wherever i go they have to leave if they're at town hall i walk in they immediately have to leave i never have to leave i get to live my life as normal I'm not the one that did the things, said the things that they did, okay? So if if they're in town hall, they beat me there, which never happened anyway because they're late to everything, right. then they have to leave. If we show up at Walmart, they're there, they have to leave. We're at McDonald's, they're there, they have to leave. To the point of if we are driving by and they are out in the property, legally, per the orders, they have to go in their home. So. That's going to be difficult because they don't have a home. So that being said, that is that update. And um, we'll continue to share more in regards to that if we feel appropriate. Again, we still want to respect the wishes of the judge as well. And so while we legally, absolutely 100%, we legally Thanks, can talk Julie. about it and, and we can share there are different aspects of it that we want to be respectful as well to the system mm -hmm. and the, the way that it works, even though it's been completely and totally disrespected by those two. Thanks, Greg. So that being said, we got a uh, little claim to fame tonight, don't we? Oh, we do. George has had some crazy claim to fame. She will not let me go back to the auction style. She said, <laughs> no, no, no. I keep wanting to go back to the auctions and she says, no. Well, I've been asking a lot of the buyers too, what their input is. Do you prefer, which do you prefer? 99% say they want the claim to yes. fame. They like it better. They do like it better. Which is funny to us because- They've also, they've also recommended bringing in lots that are much cheaper so that other people can win. But the problem with that is you won't get a bulk and with shipping and everything and all of the fees that are involved, it, it kind of doesn't make sense. It defeats sense. the purpose. That's why we have our eBay store. If you yep. just want to buy one or two. Individual items. items can always be bought on the eBay store for sure. Yeah. But with our with our claim to fame and our, you know, our sales, the whole point is to do a bulk sale. However, I did do. Oh, wait, I got one more question. I did do. Th there are people who say, are we going after Sharp? after this. Yes, we have full intentions to proceed legally after this as well on her for everything she has said, everything she's done, and now more information that's provided to us in the packets. Mm -hmm. um, so I I am I am going to dabble tonight in smaller lots that are under 100 and, and see how that works. But again, because of like the cost effectiveness with shipping and everything, you're never going to find lots that are dirt cheap <laughs> because you got a lot of shipping to go <laughs> with them. Yeah. And yeah. there's, you know, I, we prefer to do the bulk sales so that we could move inventory as quickly as possible. But I'm seeing some super cool stuff. Now I had absolutely nothing to do with pricing tonight. I don't even know what she has. I'm exactly. looking at it right now, what she's doing. And it's all George. She even, she booted me from it. So while, while I get set up, can you show them a picture of Pepper? Cause everyone wants. All to right. Who wants to see Pepper? Pepper? This, your heart is going to melt when you see this picture. Who wants to see Pepper? <laughs> you got, you got to tell me who wants to see Pepper. Cause I not only have a picture, I have a video too. Okay. So I'll go through. Oh, the I haven't shown any of these yet. 
We'll only show them the one, that one. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you guys not ready? That <laughs> That's not pepper. That's George <laughs> eating roast beef from Arby's. George went on some crazy <laughs> kick this week. She wanted Arby's three nights in a row. Like we, we did. We ordered our, we were on the road traveling because this one wanted to do some shopping. And so he's like, what do you want to eat? I said, let's do Arby's. Are you guys ready for baby pepper? She's winning. She sleeps with her hands up in the air. Go! <laughs> oh my goodness. She's Tell me that's so not adorable cute. with her sleeping with her hands up in the air. She's so cute. She is over 10 pounds or four pounds, 10 ounces. Okay. All right. She all right. She just keeps growing and growing. Growing and growing. Look at the little cutie. Look at that smile. Look oh my goodness. That. <laughs> all right come on back camera come on back there you go so there's your uh your pepper fix hopefully you enjoyed those pictures you want to see your eyes of the roast i know meat. george wants to get the claim to fame but do you guys want to see your eyes oh she's wide awake in that one she's so awake and alert in that picture look at her <laughs> oh my goodness a little cutie patootie Let's Should I keep going or do you want to do your job? All right. All right. I'll let her do her job. So if this is your first time attending one of our live bulk sales, the first thing first, make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat. This we forgot to talk important. about the community, the community garage sale this upcoming weekend on Saturday. Well, you could talk about it during the sale. All right. So this I'm telling you right now, Saturday at in Otter Creek, Saturday, Otter Creek, 7 a.m. Community yard sale. Get your French toast casserole on a, on a stick and we'll keep talking about it later go ahead <laughs> make sure you are in live chat this is super important that way jeremy and i can see the live chat happening in real time along with our moderators and everyone that's watching from home if you don't plan on um claiming anything tonight and you're watching from facebook so you can stay where you are and continue watching there however if you do want to claim a lot you need to hop onto the youtube platform make sure you are subscribed it is for free that way you can participate in the live chat um if you live outside of the united states you are more than welcome to claim it just know that there will be additional shipping costs those shipping costs uh varies depending on the weight of the package the dimensions and where you are located in the world and I could tell you right now that the shipping cost can vary anywhere between $50 and $200. Just know your country's custom laws and if there's any import fees. Um, the way our claim it to fame it sale goes. Is now it's a claim it to fame it? Claim to fame. Claim it to fame it. Claim it to fame it. <laughs> I'll show one item from the lot and then our moderator flipping adventures will type go, go, go in the chat the very first person in the chat to claim it with the buy it now price is the winner of that lot we ask all buyers email us immediately after you claim a lot uh to what the hails at yahoo.com we will display the email address on the screen once we start the sale jeremy along with our moderators will remind you throughout the sale um what email to send it to and what to send we want your youtube profile name your real name your mailing address your claim it to fame it <laughs> price and the lot that you want um and then this evening i will send a invoice via paypal you don't have to have a paypal account in order to claim it um, you will have the option of paying using either a debit card bank card credit card or paypal but account. you got to have a youtube account to fame it we yes. can't bid from facebook it's got to be youtube <laughs> Correct. Uh, keep in mind that everything is sold as is. There's no guarantees. There's no returns. We sell these lots to you as we find them in the abandoned storage unit or wherever we source them from, whether it's a flea market or an estate sale or wherever. Um, and then at the end of the claim it to fame it, I kind of like claim it to fame it. <laughs> well, we all know George gets whatever she wants. We will so. do a free giveaway. So I'll have two lucky winners. Don't um, wait. We all know George gets whatever she wants. Two lucky winners to win a free giveaway based on a trivia question that Jeremy will ask. 
Typically, those tri the trivia I'm questions. I'm reading them right now from Flipping Adventures. Come from the least viewed video of. No, they come from Flipping Adventures. <laughs> and then she gets it from the least viewed videos of the week. Um, and then, as best practice, remember to refresh in between every lot. Uh, that way, it'll prevent any lagging. And then make sure you remember to switch to live chat from top chat. Um, and then keep in mind that we are at the mercy of YouTube glitches. They exist. They're frustrating for both you at home and Those us as questions. well. Those are good questions. Those are good questions. Those are three good questions. I got to I gotta ponder on this. A yes. Um, so if you type in, let's say I have a lot this evening for $100 and you type in claim 100 and Jeremy's not seeing it or our moderators aren't confirming it in the live vid, that means no one can see it. So maybe try doing claim dollar sign 100 or claim 100 dollar sign afterwards. Uh, that way it'll go through. And unfortunately, that's part of the glitch. And then also, if you have no intentions of paying this week, please do not claim any lot um, in the live. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the computer, my laptop for you. And then, okay. I guess I'll get the first lot. She's getting the first lot. Now I got to transition because she likes it a certain way. And if I don't do it, I get in trouble. Thanks, dusty old dude, but he got his package. Oh, good. Great. We like to hear from you guys when you get your packages. We'd like to hear if you made money. Like there's quite a few who have sent us, you know, information and said, I made I've, I made this much. And we're like, whoa. All right, first, first claim to fame tonight. Believe it or not, this is a first for claim to fame. It's $35. First claim to fame tonight is $35, and Flippin' Adventures can say go, go, go. First claim to fame tonight is 35 I almost said 55 It's 35 $35. First person to actually type in 35 is the wiener. And yeah. Susan, yes, your yeah, email address is your PayPal. Fun. Yes. So first claim to fame tonight is $35. George will start showing one item at a time. Whoa, 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 already. Grandma Diane Sweeney. Sweeney. All right, Grandma Diane Sweeney. Do you want to see it all or do you want to be surprised? Grandma Sweeney. Do you want to see it all or do you want to be surprised? And she says, she says $35 is the claim to fame. She says, surprise me. Okay. So Grandma Diane Sweely says, surprise me. All right, Grandma Diane Sweely, you know what you're going to do. You're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your claim to fame amount of $35 and tell George it was the comics lot, the assorted comics lot, $35, okay? All right, this lot, is that an 85? Yeah. It is. This is an $85 Claim to fame. Kicking it with Yaya. The lag is your internet, not ours. So you got to make sure you refresh. Claim to fame on this lot is $85. As soon as Flippin' Adventure says go, 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 which she just did, you can claim it to fame it. $85 is the claim to fame. It looks like a Disney pin right there. Whoa, Kitty Mama Felicia is already in. Kitty Mama Felicia. Oh my goodness. There are $85 claim to fames everywhere. All right, Kitty Mom Felicia. You are the famous claimer. You you claimed it. You famed it. Kitty Mama Felicia, do you want to see everything or do you want to be surprised? That was an $85 claim to fame. Anybody who's new here tonight, what we do is we start showing one item at a time. One item at a time. The very first person that actually claims it for the amount gets everything. And then they can decide, yeah, I'd like to be surprised or I want to see it all. So let's see if they want to be surprised or... Kitty Mama Felicia said, let's see some of it, but not all of it. Okay. So this particular Disney pin lot are assorted Halloween. This Halloween lot, Disney pins. You see, um, help me out. What's her name? Jessica from, from Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. She's, you see the pumpkin. She's coming out of the pumpkin. So this one, this is from Michael's collection. This is brand new, still sealed. And then you've got... You've got... I'm just going to show this really quick for fun. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I'm going to show this really quick for fun. Yoink, yoink, 
Yoink. I'm going to show this okay. really quick for fun. Yoink. All right. There you go. Boom. All right. You know what to do. You're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your, your shipping address, your claim to fame of 85, and tell George it was the Halloween Disney pins. Halloween Disney pins. Okay. You got the Halloween Disney pin a lot. All right. Next claim to fame is $75. I can see George. George trying to keep these all smaller so everybody can get in on this. But at the same time, she has to have enough to, to ship. Wow. I'm shocked she's doing that one for $75. Okay. This was a really good deal. $75. As soon as flipping about, Susan already said I want it for $75. <laughs> Susan, you didn't even see even anything yet. <laughs> Lydia said I want it for 75. Look at this. Okay. It's Susan Sanders. Probably because you said it. I don't even. All right, Susan, we want to know, do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Susan, do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Susan Sanders already claimed it for 75. Didn't even see one item yet. She says, oh, that was a mistake. Okay. We got to go back up, Mods. There was another person. There was another person who claimed it right after Susan. Let's see who it was. I'm going to jump back up. See the go, go, go. And uh, I got to find it. Got to find it. Go, go, go. It was Lydia. Lydia Ferguson. All right. Lydia Ferguson, you are the claimer. You are the claimer, Lydia. You, you were second on the claim. Lydia, do you want to see it all or do you want to be surprised? Lydia put in her claim to fame before she saw anything as well. I'm reading the screen, trying to see. Might as well start showing, babe. Might as well and, and still we see Lydia. So it's going to be Lydia now. Lydia, we just need to know. No problem, Susan. We understand. Lydia, we just need to know. She said, surprise me. Okay. Surprise me. Don't you worry, Lydia. I will surprise you. Okay. So, Lydia, here's what you're going to do. You're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address. Your claim to fame of $75, tell George it was the assorted knives. Assorted knives, okay? <clears throat> okay, this next claim to fame, $76. $76. $76 on this next claim to fame. As soon as Flippin' Adventure says go, 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 you can get that claim to fame in. I'm surprised nobody actually jumped in before you even showed <laughs> one. Showed it. Yeah, I was like, maybe somebody would jump in before before you showed it. Seventy six dollars. Boom! Kirsten, Kirsten just claimed it. Seventy six dollars. Seventy six dollars. All right, Kirsten, do you want to be surprised or do you want to see everything that you're getting? Kirsten claimed it. Look at that. I'm even getting better. I'm getting better with Kirsten's name. The Kirsten. Do, do you want to see it, Kirsten, or do you want to see be surprised? Kirsten claimed it, and she got it for 76 Now we just need to know if she wants to see it all or if she wants to be surprised. She's always wanted to be surprised in the past, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know yet. I have, to see her, I have to see her comment. So I can tell you, Kirsten, she said, she said surprise. Okay. Wait, she said surprise, nope, LOL. I don't know what that means. Kirsten, does that mean surprise, nope, you want to see really it? She wants to be surprised. <laughs> okay, she wants surprise. Okay, if, if you know she wants to be surprised, then we're good to go. She usually does, yeah. Okay, then we should be good to go. Okay. All right, I'm taking my eyes off of the chat right now. So if I miss anything, mods, please let me know. Next claim to fame, $74. And Kirsten... Oh, she says nope on the name. I'm not getting any better. Oh. Okay. So Kirsten, <laughs> you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name said better than I say it, your shipping address, your claim to fame is $76 and tell George it was the assorted pins, the assorted it's pins, the Red so Boston, Red Boston Red Sox assorted pins. Okay. Boston. 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 All right. $74 is this next claim to fame. Flippin' Adventures has already said go, go, go. $74 is this next claim to fame. It looks like we've got a Disney pin. We definitely have a Disney pin. So this one is it has a date of 2022. 70, oh, 
Michael Laporte. Michael Laporte just got it in, followed by Julie Bow, followed by Kitty Mama, followed by Green Eyes, followed by a bunch of people. All right, Michael Laporte, do you want to be do you want to be surprised or do you want to see it, Michael? Michael got the claim to fame of $74. $74 was the claim to fame. I got to keep my eyes on the chat, see if Michael wants to be surprised or if Michael wants to see it all. Let's see what he says. I'm pretty sure it was Michael. Could have been Michelle. Nope, it's Michael. He says, surprise me. All right, Michael, you know what you're going to do? You're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your claim to fame of $74. These are tell, dated Disney pins. Tell George they were the dated Disney pins. Dated Disney pins. She needs to know that because there's multiple Disney pin lots tonight, okay? So she does have the information written down as well. And if you liked that lot, this next claim to fame is $86. $86. So here's a price tag of $86. This has a price tag of $86.99. And when I open it... $86. I think... Julie, Julie just claimed it. 86. Whoa. Julie claimed. Julie Schwarzerhart. Julie Schwarzerhart. Julie Schwarzerhart. <laughs> I don't want to say that. She said that's how you would pronounce it. <laughs> Julie Schwarzerhart. All right, Julie, do you want to be surprised? Do you want to be surprised or do you want to see it all, Julie? Just let us know. You just got to let us know. Do you want to be surprised or do you want to see it all? Claim to fame, $86, Julie. Julie, just a reminder, you're going to send us. She said, oh, I don't know if that's a surprise or not. Julie, let us. You, sh she said, show me one thing. Okay. Okay. So here's your winter wishes. This is brand new, still in the box. And these are Disney pins. These are Disney pins. They're holiday Disney and pins. Inside, you see like little snowflakes falling. You can't really see it. And you are you are getting more than this. This was actually priced at $86.99. So is that Pluto? That's Pluto. Yep. You've got the is that an elk from um, B V B we can see you. From Frozen. Yep. There's um Stitch from Stitch Leo and from Stitch. Leo and Stitch. There's Minnie. There's Mickey building a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? And again, these, you can kind of see. They're snow globes. They're like snow globes, yeah. So that box right there was $86.99. And you're getting another box, okay? Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your claim to fame amount of $86.00. Tell George it was the holiday pins. And every winner in the claim to fame is going to send it right there. What the hell's at yahoo.com? What the hell's at yahoo.com? All right. This next one is $183. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. You grabbed the wrong box. Unless you want me to jump to that. No. $183. Okay. One hundred eighty-three dollars, a little bit of a bigger box. Deborah has already claimed it. Deborah Paxson claimed it. All right, Deborah, do you want to even see what you're getting, Deborah? Oh my goodness, you guys, you guys love this. This is something we came up because we were tired and said, "What can we do that's fast and fun?" Yeah. Deborah just claimed it for hundred and eighty-three. Deborah, she says, show Deborah screen shows you were third. No, that was wrong, Deborah. Uh, show a raw. Who is which Deborah got it? What am I? All right, she says, show a raw. I don't know what that means. Show a raw. All right, Deborah, here, just do this. Deborah, you just bought all of this. So these are assorted DVDs. It'll come in this large. Oh, she meant show a few. This entire box is packed full. Assorted DVDs. I will show. I'll show. You'll get a four-pack DVD of the Three Stooges. Oh, that might be the best one in there. Yep, 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 yep. We just watched uh, "I Love Lucy." So all of the marathon. 
I did check to see if the DVDs match the case, which they do. And that's Deborah was in on it. I'll add some more Deborah to the zero rugrats says DVD boxes are so good for resellers. Yes, they are. And they're so easy to ship. And it's getting to be winter time for a lot of people. So a lot of people watch DVDs. DVDs especially if you don't have good streaming. Or DVDs internet, is where it's at. I have a full DVD collection. If we, but George won't let me touch these to look through any of them. She if says, we lived nope. in Cedar Key, we'd be... If we lived in Cedar Key, we would have to be full DVD. But we don't even watch any... We have a TV at the ranch house, but we don't watch it because we're always working. All right, this next one. $37. $37 is the claim to fame. No, no, no. $37 is the claim to fame. Once Flippin' Adventure this says go, 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 which she just did. Video. And I'm pretty sure I found this in a video when we were working with... Steve. Maxie Hensley. Maxie Hensley just claimed it for $37. They know what they're claiming. They're just having fun. They're like, I'm claiming. I'm claiming. <laughs> I'm claiming. Okay. All right. Now. For all you artsy, crafty people. Maxi, do you want to see everything or do you want to be surprised, Maxi? Well, if they remember this container from the video, they know exactly what they're There doing. are those that remember this container for yeah. sure. Maxi, do you want to see everything or do you want to be surprised? Some people. Some people, she said, see it, please. Okay. All right, Maxi says, see it. Just a reminder, what you're going to do is you're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, shipping address, your claim to fame amount of $37. And you're going to tell George it is the whole container of sequences. sequence, the whole container sequence. You're going to send all that information right these are there. Brand new. These all appear to be brand new sequences, and they all come with four separate um, sizes. All for crafting of sequences there's different colors all the winners tonight are gonna email right there what the hails at yahoo.com so you'll get this entire thing of sequence daisy's mom says i love this it's like buying a grab bag it, and it is if you want the container let me know and i'll include it if not just let me know in the email jeffrey d says i love this channel okay all right next claim to fame you just got all that crafting supplies. All right, next claim to fame. Okay, $101. $101 is the next claim to fame, okay? $101, as soon as Flippin' Adventure says go, it's on. She just did. She said go. $101. Maxi says, did you get your ketchup pillow? I sure did. And it's Kitty Mama Felicia. Kitty Mama Felicia already claimed it. Oh my goodness. Kitty Mama Felicia, do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? My goodness, you guys are fast. Kitty Mama Felicia claimed it. She famed it. Kitty Mama Felicia is pretty famous at claim to fame. So we just need to know, Kitty Mama Felicia, do you want to be surprised? Do you want to see it all? So she says, surprise me. Okay, I'm going to surprise her, but I want her to know, holy cow, everything. That is heavy. Those are like 16 pounds. That's really heavy. Really, really heavy. And those are fun to sell on eBay as well. All right. So Kitty Mama Felicia, you know what you're going to do. You're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your claim to fame amount, 101. And tell George it was the assorted CD lot. Okay. And you're going to send that all right there. Next lot is nine claim to fame is 99. Did I put this together or did you? I did. Well, George put this together. Next claim to fame is $99. $99. $99 is the next claim to fame. Flipping Adventures already said go, go, go. Joseph Cal Sell it Lottie just got it for 99. Oh my goodness. And people are just. There's 99 going everywhere. <laughs> All right, Joseph just claimed it for 99. Joseph, sell Eddie. Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised, Joseph? Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Joseph just got it for 99. Sell Eddie. 
do you want to see it all or do you want to be surprised joseph and and uh lisa says you butchered somebody's name well that won't be the first time guilty been there done that joseph says wants to see everything all right okay. what you just bought joseph for 99 is an assorted disney uh tote filled with assorted disney lots so okay. i showed you the shirt and it's got mickey on one side and minnie on the other side and then here is a mini plush mini plush and then here's a 15 year anniversary disney pin that's cool are we going to disney this this winter don't you I think we should go to disney and take flipping adventures mm -hmm. you think flipping adventures will let me take her to disney has she ever been i've never been she's florida born and raised she's had to have been i would say that she's probably been to disney. Flush, brand new with the tag still has the tag I mean, we go to Orlando for all of these for all of these auctions. Here's the rabbit from Alice. Still has the tag. <clears throat> You've got a rad dad hat. Here's that's better a than a bad dad. Little genius hat. Oh, that's for Dr. Pepper. Here's a big old Mickey eraser. That thing that is a thick eraser. It's huge. Here is these are really cool. You actually Oh, I I bought those. These are Disney diecasts. Part of my for my shelf collection. These are really cool. These are 100 diecasts. And then George snagged them and said, I'm selling these. They were part of my collection for the shelves. Here's a happy birthday balloon. Here is a mini t-shirt. This is uh, XL. It looks like she's crawling through the wall. The shirt. Max Lab just sent five dollars. I challenge you to do all four That's Disney good. parks in one day. I'm not sure I'm young enough for that anymore, Max Lab. I, wouldn't be able to handle I don't know. I, mean, I could maybe do it without George, Here's but a vintage Mickey Cup. Philip Inventor says, I was born in Ohio, raised in Tampa. Get it right, Jeremy. Twist my arm, I guess. <laughs> Been about 60 times, but if you ride my favorite ride, Tower of Terror, Here's then we'll Disney go. some Disney stickers. Yeah, she been there, done that. Here's a Lion King necklace. I believe he lights up. I'm gonna be a mighty king. Here's a turtle. No! Oh! <laughs> Keychain from uh, PSD. <laughs> PSD. PSD. PDS. I'm getting PBS right now. Is this from Finding Nemo? Yes. It's Finding Nemo. You've got a Mickey watch. The band needs to be replaced. It probably needs new batteries as well. Not focusing. That's all right. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen a Mickey watch before. They're pretty popular. But wait, there's more. And then you'll get all of these Disney button pins. Did you just say button? What's button. what's funner to say, button or mutton? Buttons? This isn't Disney, but I threw it in. It's a growing mermaid. You should have gave that to JK. It glows in the dark. It grow. It gets up to six thousand. Six hundred. Six hundred. We're doing some merry math there, baby. <laughs> We're doing some merry merry math. A little concerned. Here's some Disney stickers. This appears to be brand new, still in the package. Here's some Finding Dory stickers. Three hundred stickers. I was waiting for you to say three thousand. I was like, she's going to be like, there's 3,000 stickers right here. Here's some some more Disney stickers. Mizu says, how do you find your eBay store? It's what the hails. Here's All one word. Watch. You go into search and you look for what the hails. The band needs to be replaced as well. Mini watch probably needs batteries as well. 
Here is Pinocchio and Peter Pan cards, trading cards. <clears throat> and then here's that squirrel from Ice Age. This is probably a um, Happy Meal toy, still brand new in the package. Here's some Dr. Seuss bookmarks. I just threw those in there. Still brand new in the package. And then you'll get Squirrel. Kitty Mama Felicia and everybody else now saying Squirrel. Squirrel. You'll get an Olaf necklace from Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? He's from Frozen. He's a Funko Pop. And a wind up. A wind up Triceratops. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which uh, movie this one's from. Land Before Time? Maybe. That's not Disney, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I threw it in there. But wait, there's more. Here's a mini pewter. Not focused. You got to put your hand behind it. It's a mini, it's made out of pewter and it's a mini statue. Mini mouse pewter. It's a mini, it's a mini, mini of, it's a mini of mini made out of pewter. Here we go. Triplets. Man. Triplets of Bell from Beauty I don't know if Beauty. I can handle triplets of you. <laughs> Here's a Timon and Pumbaa um, magnet. Hakuna Matata. Got Donald. That one has a date. Oh, there is. There's but wait, there's more. I don't. I don't see a date. George is like. George is like. I don't like doing the auctions. It takes too long to show everything. But she's the one that's going. No, let me. It's already sold. Let me see if I can find a date for you. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I like finding the dates. All right. Well. They're waiting for the next one. Here's some more toys. Oh my goodness, this next one they're going to go crazy for. The next claim to fame is 123. I'm just letting you know. Buzz Lightyear. And that completes the, uh, the Disney lot. All right, Joseph, what you're going to do is you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your your claim to fame amount of one of 99. Your claim to fame amount of 99. Yeah, and your shipping address. And tell George it's the assorted Disney item. You send all that. Holy cow, Flippin' Adventures. Just wait. I ain't there yet. I ain't there. They're already bidding on it. We're not there yet. She's not ready. <laughs> Slow your roll. Slow your roll. We're going to do another go. We're going to do another go on that one, okay? We're going to do another go on that one. Joseph, send all your info right here. What the hell is at yahoo.com. Okay. Now... George is grabbing the next lot, and it is $123. You can say go, go, go now, Flippin' Adventures. I hope everybody is ready now, because we were nowhere near ready. Now we're ready. This go, 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 then you guys can actually get your 123 in. So okay? I'm going to show you something that's going to be a dead giveaway of what the lot is. We got so many people putting in 120. I'm just waiting for the go, go, go again. If you're into scrapbooking, this is a lot. All right, Flippin' Adventures has said go, go, go. Now the first one to get 123 in there is the wiener. I see the go, go, go. Now we're just waiting for Flippin' Adventures. It's Kirsten. Kirsten is the, is the claim to fame. It is Kirsten. Kirsten, do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? There were so many 123s and we didn't before even, even showed before it. before anything <laughs> happened, you still you still toting up everything Disney. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, let's see if Kirsten wants to see it or she wants to be surprised. Usually wants to be surprised. Yeah. We're getting it. We're getting this stat. She says LOL. Come on, Jeremy, you know. Okay. You just bought a huge thing of scrapping. All right. So, Kirsten, you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, shipping address, your claim to fame of 123. Tell George it's the assorted scrapbooking. Okay. It's all supplies for scrapbooking from stamps to cutouts to stickers to you name it. Okay. All right. Next claim to fame. 
You made a lot of just that? Yeah. Listen, don't be jumping on this because you don't know what it is. Okay? <laughs> and I have never seen her do anything like this before. Because so. I've been collecting them for a while. All right. Time. $77 is the claim to fame. $77 is the claim this to fame. $7.99. Think big. $77. Thank you, Gina. K I R is like ear with a K. Kirsten. Kirsten. I'm getting close. So I was Kina. I'm getting very close, Kina. Too. Scarface Taco is the claim to fame. Wiener. Scarface Taco. Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Scarface Taco got the claim to fame in at 77. Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Scarface Taco. Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? So, George, this is the first time I think you've ever put a um, a lot together with all of this. It's taking yeah. you this long to... to... Yeah, because they're all empty. They're all Scarface blank, says, all let's see it, please. All right, Scarface, you just bought yourself a complete lot of journals. Journals, diaries, whatever you want to call them. Now, we get a ton of diaries in storage units. And these are all these all have blank pages. But we throw them away because we're not really that intrusive into people's lives to well, want to read everything. But these, these are, are blank. blank. These are blank. This is an actual an organized. Man, how crazy would that be if we actually sold the Rodin diaries? <laughs> would people want to buy? Uh, I think that's one of the diaries? reasons why people love to watch the storage unit videos because they like to see a peek into somebody I mean, else's there, life. There is some interesting stuff that people write in their diaries. We have seen some crazy stuff in diaries. So this is a full diary journal lot, Scarface. You got for $77. That's with free shipping. Just a reminder, you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, Only your shipping you your shipping address, and you're going to tell George I'm the claim to fame at $77, and you're going to tell her it was the assorted journal and diary lot. This one actually has a page written in it. Uh-oh, that's a bonus page. Is that a recipe? You get a bonus page, and you're going to send it right here, what the hails at Yahoo dot com scarface taco said i'm so happy i never win anything now you got in a full lot that george put together this is a george lot this is the jeremy lot the journal the journals people like keeping journals all right and you're gonna get all of these as well you're gonna get all of these as well I'm pushing George because she's the one that says my back hurts. And then she's like, oh, well, let's look at every page in this journal. Ooh, let's read this page. Is this a recipe? Is this French toast casserole? If you want French toast casserole, this Saturday, Otter Creek, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., I believe. I might be wrong. It might be 3 p.m. If there's extras, you might as well stay till four anyway, help clean up and shut down. You can get French toast casserole on a stick. All right. This next claim to fame is $62. $62 on this claim to fame. This appears to be brand new, still sealed. Does look brand new and still Thank sealed. Thank you, cards. Flip it Adventure said, go, go, go. 62 is the claim to fame amount. Debbie just claimed to fame it already. Oh, my goodness. Frankie H says, we want the recipe. All right, Debbie, you're the claim to fame winner. Do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Debbie Osterdorf. Oster. Ostendorf. Ostendorf. Debbie Ostendorf. I think I got it that time. Debbie, do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? We'll see what Debbie has to say. Philip says, are you going to have jalapenos on a stick? Um, I don't think there will be any jalapenos, but there will be French toast casseroles and a lot of them. All right. She says, surprise me. All right, Debbie, here's what you're going to do. You're going to email us right here. You're going to email George, what the hell is at yahoo.com. You're going to tell her your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address. Your claim to fame amount of $62. 
you're going to tell her that you bought the assorted cards and envelopes lot. So this is a whole tote that she put together of assorted cards and envelopes. None of them used. All right. This one is claim to fame. $199. $199. They're going to start claiming without even seeing anything. 199 flipping adventure said go 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 and joseph just claimed it at 199 joseph got another joke, claim joseph. <laughs> joseph got a claim on the assorted disney item at 99 so joseph got the claim on the disney items at 199 joseph do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised do you want to see it joseph or do you want to be surprised do you want to see it or do you want to be surprised? Joseph says, let's see it. All right, you just bought Joseph for $199. You bought an entire assorted fabric lot. So George is putting all these fabrics together. A lot of our viewers absolutely love all the crafting, all the fabrics. And George has a huge tote here of everything from quilt backing to looks like dress patterns mm -hmm. sewing patterns for dummies i would need that i sewing would need that patterns for dummies i would definitely need that there's a ton of different fabrics i don't know if she was working on making a quilt looks like quilt but there's pieces you think Joseph is going to make a quilt out of all of this? I don't know how many yards per pattern. I know you guys can't see that 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 fabric right now because of camouflage, but you'll so you can see this next one. You think Joseph is going to make a is going to make a, a quilt for everybody? Maybe Joseph can share with us what he plans on doing. He says he's going to make a quilt. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt. There's plenty here to make a quilt. Look Some at that. Dog pattern. That's kind of cool, huh? Dog pattern fabric gray. Boom dog goes, only Jeremy Hales can make money this fast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy putting in your claim to fame before you even see a thing. <clears throat> but I, I get it. That's part of the fun. These might be squares that she cut for a, pa uh, for a quilt. quilt that she was yep. making. Here's some more of that dog pattern. It is part of the fun. That's why we love the storage units. Love the storage units. Here's some more cut uh, pieces of pattern. Which George and I actually picked up a storage unit. When was that? On Friday? Friday. Friday after court, George and I went and picked up a storage unit. The and The manager was sick. And um, not to say that we scored big, but um, I'm going to show them just this right here. If if you can read that, yes, that was Grandma's diamond, and the diamond is right there. Not to say that we scored big, but we scored big. We did score big. So Friday, Friday, we had the the horrible aspect of having to be in the legal system and court and the headache of that. And then we went and had fun. And <clears throat> how big did we score? You're going to find out this week. You will find out this week. You can see Grandma's Diamond is right there. We've got oh, Grandma's God. Diamond. Here comes some more fabric. All right, George is just bringing it out in fistfuls now. <laughs> At least she's not looking for dates on it all. Tons of fabric. She's not looking for dates anymore. That's good. I don't. I find that interesting to find the date on everything. Looks like Diana and Jessica will be working on more getting squares. ready for yeah. this weekend's community yard sale, which is going to be oh, a ton of fun look for what everybody. I found in there. What is this? That's the cutter. The fabric cutter? Yep. So you push down and the oh. wheel goes down and well that yep. was in there. I think you put this together. This I one. did this lot? I think so. I wouldn't doubt it. 
because with Christian and Patience gone, uh, George and I have been have been sorting, and I actually I actually was sorting today for a couple hours. So for a couple hours, I changed out George's sink faucets, so handles, faucet, the whole so deal. <clears throat> which is not easy with the contemporary style that the previous owners had. And I had already done mine earlier last year. It took me roughly three hours. It's that intense. It's, it's very, when I did mine, this time I knew what I was doing and George was here. It is a two-person project. It is 100% a two-person project. So it took me three hours the first time I did my sink by myself, which was insane. This time I, did I do it in an hour and a half or two hours? Probably an hour and a half-ish with george's help doing the second one she wants me to show the quilt backing here's some more you got more batting you got more batting all right we got it joseph knows what he's getting all right just a quick reminder to everybody who won tonight claim to fame what you're going to do is you're going to send your youtube name your real name your shipping address your claim to fame amount and the lot that you want, you're going to send that all right here. I should be pointing to what the hails at yahoo.com. What the hails at yahoo.com. Now, there could be more winners tonight because you can win something for free. Yes, for free. Did I, I think earlier I said two lucky winners. I'm actually going to have three lucky winners. Apparently, there's going to be three, three lucky, lucky winners, winners winning something for free. Free, so free, free. free, lucky winners winning something for free. For free, for free, free, free. The price is right, if nothing else. Do you have the question? Of course I have the question. I have, All right. so I have three questions. These are limited edition, what the hell's black tote bags. These are the last of these tote bags. Because once, once I give these away tonight, there aren't going to be any more. So this is the last of it. So I've got three lucky winners. The first three to answer the trivia question correctly will win one of these limited edition What the Hell's Black Tote Bags. And Oh my goodness, look at this. She just keeps going. She just keeps further incriminating herself. You see that YouTuber? She just further breaks the CPO and keeps going. And then look at this. She just keeps going and keeps going <clears throat> keeps going oh, man, come on give me back literally a judge has already warned her has threatened to charge her with contempt of court <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna end up in jail they're a hundred percent not even mad at that not even mad at that for them violating it all right so insanity insane how you can you be so messed up and in let me know which question you you pick so that okay I can... how can you be so messed up in the head like it's begging she's literally begging to be jailed okay the question is we're gonna go with number three okay and the question is simply this which Childhood toy would have been bought for one thousand yeah. dollars on sure, the spot. Make sure you're in live chat, y'all. If just one of the three were found in a mint condition in the box, <laughs> which which toy were George and I looking for that I would have on the spot bought for one thousand dollars if it was in mint condition in the box? Woo! I got my winners already. They remember? They do. Again, make sure you're in live chat and not top chat. Well. I've got, I've got my three winners already. Let me write their names down before, into a before YouTube kicks me and I can't go back. With no one around. All to get away from the snow. Well, we put in a two-inch line, and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough. All right, I got my three lucky winners. Let's see what they are. 
the first person to answer the trivia question correctly that I see on my end is Julie Schweinhart with My Pet Monster. Congratulations, Julie. You know what to do. Email me, let me know you are the leader of tonight's giveaway. The second person that answered the trivia question correctly with My Pet Monster is Don Wittenhagen. Congratulations, Don. Make sure you email, let me know that you're the second winner of tonight's free giveaway. And the third person to answer the trivia question correctly with my pet monster is trina taco congratulations ladies make sure you email me let me know you were the leader well we moved into a town with no one around all to get away from the snow we put in a doage line and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough oh usually she speaks here okay Mayor was in town hall. Couldn't do math at all. Just kept calling the law. Sent an email to Worm, trying to get him firm. No one would know about her flaws. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and hanging out with us. Hopefully, you'll come back next Sunday. I met John, running their con, trying to get any money that came. Uh, everything around them dies, and then she takes the prize. They'll end up by a river in a van. We try and release a pre-recorded video every day, Monday through Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shines all over town, and now they're taken down, and everybody knows who Don is. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You're living in a shed with no permit. And then we go live every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Now Russ is texting Don, telling him it's on. Let's give the world a show. We always wanted fame. Now they know our names. In the meetings, always vote Thank no. Jackie, Jackie says, no bad talking to take fans down by the <laughs> Thank you to all of our moderators. Thank you to everyone who sent a super chat tonight, a super sticker tonight, everyone that became a member this evening, everyone that upgraded their membership, gifted membership. They're all making threats. The fans are taking bets. Who's going to be the first in jail? Mary, Russ, or Don, Alinette, or John. We just know it won't be what the hails. We just know it won't be what the hails. And uh, we'll get to fan mail next week because we didn't get to do it this week. But thank you to everyone who sent fan mail. We love you all. We appreciate you. No one around. Gotta get away from the snow. We put in a two-inch line. Everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough. Good night, everyone. Say good night, Jeremy. Good night, Jeremy. Good night, everyone.